Have you ever wondered why so many languages use such similar words for mother? It's possible that language was invented only once, before the human exodus from Africa, leading some researchers to scour distant languages in search of commonalities to try to reconstruct the parent words. But trying to recreate the world's very first language is rejected by most mainstream linguists. Human language is maybe 100,000 years old and possibly much older, and languages change vastly in even just a few thousand years. There's rarely any direct connection between the sounds of the words and the things they refer to. For example, there's no link between the word dog and the furry quadruped, though the rare exception of onomatopoeia gives us bow wow, or the Spanish wow wow, vaguely resembling the sound of a dog's bark. <laughs> There are many consonants in the world's languages, from the clicks of some African languages, as in ah, to Caucasian ones like ejectives, which make use of air pressure built up in the mouth. Ah. These sounds are rare and hard for non-natives to learn. In contrast, a few consonants, such as ba, m, t, and k, show up far more frequently in nearly every spoken language in the world. Almost certainly, that's because they're easy to make. A baby vocalizing will, at first, make a vowel-like sound, usually something like ah, uh, which requires very little in the way of control over the mouth. If the baby briefly closes their mouth and continues vocalizing, air will come out of the nose, making the m sound that's used around the world in words for mother. And to say papa, babies can easily stop their breath when they close their lips, rather than going on breathing through the nose, producing a b or a p sound. And that explains Papa in English, Baba in Arabic, and Baba in Mandarin. Perhaps most importantly, it's probably the parents, not the babies themselves, who hear their own names in these babbles, whether the baby intends them or not. And this may be why they often feature two repeated syllables to distinguish them from random sounds. It's hard to spot universals amid the world's dazzling variety of languages, so it's heartwarming to find one in the love that babies inspire in their mamas and their papas. 